Right, so we've thrust out that bearing. Now you might not be able to see it too well, but it's on this side. There's a bearing. So right on the joint. There you go. So you can see where the gap is. And it's this bearing, oops, this bearing here. And uh, I'm going to focus. There you go. It's this bearing here. And that's the other bearing that's on the end of the shaft. Now this one was a little bit gritty when it was turning, but I've blown out the race. And now it seems quite smooth. I'm quite happy with that. So I don't think there's a problem with that bearing. Yeah, just in case I didn't show it before, this is the actual armature. Yeah, you might see writing that's like in the original pen. Now, I thought it might have been catching, but I'm not seeing any marks on here. So I think it might be when I was moving it around. That's the other ball race there, which we never removed because it didn't need to. Yeah, and this is the pole and some of the circlips. And then we've got the, uh, what's a, like a, basically a ceiling washer. Yeah. These are the brushes, okay, and a brush cover. I might inspect those to see because I had to blow that all out as well. There you go. So that's the brushes, that's how they work. And basically, you've got two brushes for each slip ring, and it's just to make sure that the contact's there, I suppose, more than anything. This all needs cleaning out, and that's the, uh, the gearbox itself, <coughs> and the parking pole mechanism. Yeah, so uh, I'm looking for problems, but I'm not finding them. So I think this motor is actually actually all right. I don't think there's anything wrong unless it's inside there, which is doubtful because that's a sealed manufactured unit. But I could get another one, I guess, somewhere, <coughs> or it's inside here. Now I haven't upended this and had a right good inspection, but there were some scratch marks. But it might have been because we were actually moving it around without the bearing on this end. And so I'm thinking that it uh, looks like a Hadron Collider, doesn't it? Look at that. Eh? This is the Turbo Electric Hadron Collider. That's not. So um, what I'm going to do is inspect this carefully and probably do some uh, some testing on the uh, on the three phase as well to see if we can get some idea of what the resistance is like. That's just a a thermistor probe. I'm sure I went over that. Yeah, and this is a. Uh, uh, we got a, oh, it's an impression in there now. This is an oil sealing ring which might need replacing now because it looks like it's got crushed a bit there. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. We might be able to get one of them. Yeah. So, and these are standard bearings. There's, a, I think they're called 608s or something, just different sizes. Yeah, but it's all clean in there. I mean, I'll give it a once over. We'll give it a, a clean out, and then put it back together. But as far as I can see, there's nothing wrong with this motor. So whatever was showing up as being the insulation fault might have been just dirt in something that needs cleaning out. Likely it's just the brushes dirt somewhere. And it might have got into the electrics here or something. I don't know what the insulation fault is. I don't know what, insula what insulation it's electrical or if it's some sort of a, a vacuum, you know, like a sealer or something like that. But... Um, this motor just seems okay. Yeah, I would be able. To, I'd, I'd be able to make a controller for it as well because you've got your three-phase input there quite easily, and then it's just two slip rings here, so I can make a controller because the motor's quite simple. Um, but I'm not seeing where the sensor information is coming from. Yeah, that's a good point. That where's the sensor information transmitted? Unless there's a there's this in the end here somehow it's picked up from the end there might be sensor information picked up from the end yeah I don't know anyway okay to carry on